More than once during the Civil War, newspapers reported a strange phenomenon. From only a few miles away, a battle sometimes made no sound, despite the flash and smoke of cannon, and the fact that more distant observers could hear it clearly. These eerie silences were called acoustic shadows. As night grew nearer, whispers of a great battle to be fought the next day grew louder, and we shuddered at the prospect, for the battles had come to mean to us as they never had before, blood, wounds, and death.
That night, the temperature fell below freezing and a stiff wind blew. Men now froze as well as bled to death. Night brought quiet. But out of that silence rose new sounds, more appalling still, a strange ventriloquism of which you could not locate the source. A smothered moan, as if a thousand discords were flowing together into a keynote, weird, unearthly, terrible to hear and bear, yet startling with its nearness. The writhing concord broken by cries for help some begging for a drop of water, some calling on God for pity, and some on friendly hands to finish what the enemy had so horribly begun. Some with delirious, dreamy voices, murmuring loved names as if the dearest were bending over them. And underneath, all the time, the deep bass note from Closed lips, too hopeless or too heroic to articulate their agony.